Hey, what's going on, City Slickers? I gotta walk Nana, so I said, you know what? I haven't seen a stick City Slickers in a few days. There's so much going on. First of all, Nana, hold on. I'm gonna break the window. Break the window, get back. So yeah, guys. Um, the car was acting crazy. Um, it didn't start, so I gave it a boost. Started right up. But then the next day, I had to give it another boost to start up. So I'm thinking, you know what? I have to get a new battery. So I was hoping it was my 12 volt battery. That battery is to start the car. Then you have other batteries, I believe like three batteries in the bottom, by the, under the seats. I believe those batteries is what drives my uh, electric motor. So um, I said, you know what, I'm gonna just have to get another 12 volt battery. So uh, yesterday, I was gonna go get the battery. I got in the car, it started right away. I just pressed the button and it started. Nena! So now, um, at the same time, I have this lady calling me from um, Bronx Toyota on um, Boston Road in Gun Hill. So I told her I was interested in a new Prius. And um, I'm just thinking about it. Do I want that payment? Do I want that extra six, $700 a month payment? And I really don't. Because right now I'm in the middle, I might be moving in a few weeks, literally. So uh, I'm working on that now. I don't know, um, it's a lot, it's a lot, you know. So I'm thinking, being that I'm moving, do I need a new car if I could travel, like go to Miami, go wherever? Am I gonna do all of this? Or my two cars are fine, just move and that's it. So I was a little confused, but I don't want that payment. I had that before, years ago. It's a little stressful, you know, every month, $700. You know, I don't mind paying $700, $800 for a car. But, you know, it should be a Range Rover or something like that, a Bentley. But when you're paying $800 for a Prius, for a Honda Accord, for a Nissan Sentra, you know, it's like, come on, $800 for that? You should have a Range Rover or something for $800. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So I'm, I'm a little confused about that. But um, this moving thing has me stressed out because I know I'm not going to see my son um, as much, you know, but yeah, uh, I'm in the middle of moving, so I'm throwing everything out, I'm giving away a lot of stuff, actually, so I'm putting that together, and show you guys, if anybody wants it, you can have it, um, I can't do that eBay stuff, I don't know how to, you know, I'm not good with computers, and I don't have the patience, I just want to get rid of this stuff, put a few things in storage, and kick it, and then, um, I see my son soon, that's gonna be a little rough for me, but yeah, um, I wanted to tell y'all something. It's not just for, for men, also for women only. I mean, for women also. You know, um, I don't know if y'all heard the new song with the City Girls. Real bad bitch, bought a nigga, real bad, uh, six figures. You see, in that song, I don't know if you heard it. She says, um, she, if you rich, she's gonna be with you till you ain't one. And that's, that's a fact, you know. Um, you have a lot of women out here, and men, not just women, men also, that um, you have a woman with you, she don't love you, you know. Love is not what it used to be. Relationships is not what it used to be. People used to love each other. They used to uh, want to have a family, get married. Right now, people be with each other, uh, I don't know, just to like, I don't know, just to waste time. So um, I say that to say this. Sometimes people are not with you because they love you. They're with you because of what you can do for them. You know, um, don't think this girl loves you. You know, she's a hood girl, you're not a hood guy. She's with you for a reason. She's with you for your car. She's with you for the happy hour drinks that you're always taking her to and stuff you can do for her. So some people are with you for what you can do for them. And that's not love. They just using you. And uh, when they time is right, they just gonna leave you. And sometimes they mess up people's credit. They, they ruin people's lives, you know. And uh, yeah, it's not just women. There's men also. 
that uh, you know woman loved this guy and this guy's messing with her friends messing with her family messing up her car messing up her credit he don't love her he just would have for what she could do for him so the same thing you know there's also women out here you guys gotta be careful all you guys showing off bling bling at the club and popping bottles and all that you know um this Instagram thing, everybody's living a perfect life. But sometimes you see people, they got their priorities messed up. They got Range Rovers and Bentleys and they live in their mother's basement or they live in a girl's house with Section 8, rent is $20. But their car payment is $800 a month. I think that's backwards. I think your, your mortgage, your, your rent should be a little more expensive in your vehicle for sure then you have women out there who's making a living who's making a living driving brand new cars every year they got a new car why because they got five baby daddies five different child supports they struck gold that's a come up in the hood so you got to be careful guys you got these women they don't want you they never want a relationship with you they want you because they know you got that city job they know that child support is gonna be nice. That's what I'm talking about. You know, uh, I had that problem sometimes too. You know, when you talk to a woman, you're telling her your business, and I stopped that. You gotta stop that. Don't tell, this goes not just for the men, also for the women. Don't tell people your business, your financial business, because they don't need to know that. Uh, if they wanna know about you, they should, um, you know, just focus on you. Not your financial. They're not. They shouldn't know your financial uh, status. So uh, yeah, don't tell people your business. Like I messed up. I used to tell people, "Ah oh, man, child support's killing me. They're taking eight hundred dollars a month from me." Right away, other women are gonna think, oh, "I could get pregnant from this guy. I can use eight hundred dollars a month." So that's my point. You gotta be careful. Don't tell people your financial business. Like I said, guys, um, it's different out here. Um, the hustle is different. The streets is, is, is more slimier than it was. People are not with you because they love you. They want you for what you can do for them. You know, um, and you gotta know this. You gotta know this. You have to be able to, uh, you can't tell sometimes, I'm sorry, but you gotta, separate the good time woman from the real woman there are real women out there but there's also a lot of good time women and they just for good times they good for partying for drinking for dancing that's all they could do they can't clean no house they can't cook no food they can't take care of no man they can't take care of their kids so you got to separate the good time woman and the real woman and uh yeah be careful because once these women know you got a decent job they pregnant Overnight, I'm pregnant. And you're like, what? Just met you this week. That's how it is. Once they know you got a decent salary, you work for the city or something, or you got a good job, um, you know, what they thinking about? Cha-ching! Child support. So you gotta be careful, guys. Definitely gotta be careful out here, man. Um, I see a lot of women, some of these women tell me their stories, you know. They cool with me. Oh, uh, man, they tell me. I went and got my body done with my taxes because my, um, the child support takes care of all their bills. Takes care of their new car, takes care of their vacation. So she went and got her body done with her taxes. And um, I'm like, wow. How about the kids? No, no, their fathers can take care of them. So you got to be careful. These women is making it a career. You hear me? A career. Looking for a guy with a decent job so they can get pregnant from that guy. Once they know you're the daddy, they don't need you no more. Now they take you to child support. All right. Let me walk in. I'll get back to you guys in one minute. I just got to let y'all know that because there's a lot of people out here that's with people just for what people can do for them. You know, but um, if your partner had to do what you're doing for your partner, would they do it for you? No, right? So you shouldn't be with that person. 
If, if your partner can't hold you down the way you're holding them down, think about it. If you was in their situation, everything you do for them, would they do it for, for you if they had it? Maybe not. So if you know that in your heart, it's time to go. Trust me, it's time to go. If you know that person is not gonna take care of you the way you're taking care of that person, you know right there. You telling you know you know don't lie to yourself. There's a lot of people out here. They just whip you for what you can do for them. You know, um, you can buy this every day. You can buy that every day. So they're okay. That's all they want. So be careful out here, guys, and the women too. Not just guys, women too. But you also have those city girls. I call them city girls now. You have those city girls that um. They trying to get pregnant from a guy with a decent job. Because you can have a girl, she's been with a guy 10 years. She ain't get pregnant. Why? Because he don't work. Now she meets another guy, she gets pregnant in one month. Why? Because this guy got a city job. You got to put it together, guys. This is a business out here. It's nothing personal. It's business. And um, you are the business. You are the bag. Remember that. Remember, you're the bag. They looking at you like a bag. They're not looking at you. You think, oh, this girl wants me. She don't want you. She want that bag. Let me walk in there now. Hold on. All right, hold on. Got to give a few shout outs. All right, let's go. Shout out to Aquarium Monster. Thanks for the love, Pike. Thank you. Shout out to Aquarium Monster. Shout out to Lady Ghana. Lady Ghana, I'm going to see um, that guy Angel in 152nd with the, with the roast pork. I'm going to do a vlog over there, Lady Ghana. They actually just had a Puerto Rican festival last weekend over there. They had a Puerto Rican festival over there. That's on Jackson Avenue over there. Yeah, by Jackson Avenue. Um, shout out to Julian Hall from B. Moore, Baltimore. La Cubano. Julian, um, let me know about that um, Baltimore Puerto Rican Month Parade. I want to go out there at the same time I can see my kids, my grandkids. Yeah, let me know about that. Um, Julian Hall from Baltimore. Thank you. Shout out to Angela Harrison. Angela Harrison. It's not Harris, it's Harrison. Thank you, Angela. Um, shout out to Villone Boy. Thanks for stumbling on my page. And subscribing for Lone Boy. Thank you. Shout out to my dog, Hector Nunez. Hector, I'm going to New, Sh New Hampshire soon, bye. Yeah, ya mismo, voy para allá. I want to go up there. I never been to New Hampshire. I lived in Providence, but I never went to uh, Vermont and New Hampshire and Maine. So I've been wanting to hit that. I might do it now. Shout out to Lisa Sims. Shout out to my dog, Yasser. It's this guy at the gas station, this African guy, man. I forget his name, man. I'm so sorry. Um, he sees me. I don't know why. Yesterday, I was buying gas, and um, I bought a soda. And then he tells the girl, here, here's a dollar. And she said, for what? She said, for his drink. I want to buy his soda. I forgot this guy's name, this African guy. You know, he got a, uh, he's a little built. A little stocky guy. He's cool. Real good people, man. I forget his name. But shout out to Yasser. And I uh, forgot my dog's name. He bought me a soda yesterday. Yeah, good people, man. So, yeah, guys. Shout out to you guys. Thank you. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Sorry I haven't been seeing y'all. You know, I'm a little stressed out. And um, I'm in the middle of moving. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm confused. I don't know if I want to... Um, I don't know if I want to um, get the new car. I don't know. I don't want that bill. I really don't. I got other stuff to do. Um, I have my book, have my clothes, and that's that's cost me a pretty penny. So I just want to focus on my book and my clothing line. That's it, green light, green light, and the book, Harlem Bronx boy. So that's what I'm focusing on. And um, being that I'm moving, um, I don't know what my expenses are gonna be. So right now I'm looking around, I'm looking, and yeah. So I'll see y'all a little more. Definitely, I'll see y'all tomorrow, too. I got to see y'all tomorrow. Um, yeah. I was like, well, I haven't been seeing my city sickness, but, you know, so much brainstorming and everything. So it's been a little rough. All right, guys. I'm going to see you mañana. Don't forget, um, watch out for these city girls. You know, um, they want you till you broke. Once you broke, they're leaving you. That's it. So don't get there.
take care of your business. And um, so when you meet a woman at a bar, you know, I know y'all drinking and feel tipsy. Now you're talking too much. Slow down with this. Slow down with that, all right, puppy? That's going to get you into child support. Slow down with this, all right? Um, you don't want this girl looking at you just as a bag. And that's how some of these women are looking at us. They look at your car. Me, I don't have a fancy car. And I have plenty of money, but I'm not into that. The fancy car. I got two cars for, and they serve me a purpose. My van has the bed, the TVs, the Prius. I could run around the city. I don't gotta worry about gas and parking. Or them taking my rims, them trying to take my system. I don't gotta worry about that with this Prius. I could park this anywhere. This Prius actually was an investment for me. I bought this to sell, but it drove so good that I just kept it. If I knew I was gonna keep it, I would've bought a new one. All right, guys, we have 16 minutes, I'm sorry. All right, guys, don't be her bag. Uh, I'll see you mañana. Peace. Green light, papi. Shazam! Say bye, nena. 16 minutes, girl, breaking records.